Hello everybody. I just wanted to go over some of the modifications I made to my machine. As you can see, I'm not using aluminum profile instead of phenolic for the main frame members. This just allows me a little more flexibility as far as upgrading. Also, as far as maintenance, I can remove uh, the gantry bridge, for example, without bothering the x-axis. And likewise, I can remove the carriage relatively easy without taking it off the saddle and such um it's 45 45 and 45 90 extrusion from 8020.net uh still using the half inch eight start lead screws from mcmaster car still using the xylotec steppers with the g540 box the big difference in the drivetrain is on the x-axis i now employ dual steppers running the screws via timing belt this uh, allows me to make upgrades easier down the road also the gantry rails and bearing blocks are underneath the table as well as a lead screw which should help keep dust away and I also have a larger work envelope for the footprint. I now have a 30 inches by 32 or 33 inch cutting area. So anyway, I guess you guys want to see this move. There's the gantry. Gantry is running at about 747 inches a minute. The XL set at 30. For the Y, I got 726 inches a minute. With the XL set at 75. And for the carriage, I have it set at 400 inches a minute. Oops. Though I probably could uh, lower that a little bit since that's a little fast. Now, a blended speed, I get over a thousand inches a minute. I'll zoom into the Mach 3 screen so you can see that. Okay. Here's the Y. And here's the X. I got a job up on the screen right now. And we're going to run this at 120 inch a minute feed rate, I believe. Let me just zoom out. And I'm going to hit start. Over here in the Y axis, instead of uh, using the HDP bearing blocks, I decided to just press fit the screw bearing into the uh, connecting plate itself. It made it a little bit easier. I still need to put a uh, bearing plate on top there to just hold the bearing in place even though it's pressed in. X-axis. Z-axis. We'll look from the back. I'm using uh, these gussets. This allows me to also move the bridge up or down depending on the job I'm doing. I can keep a rigid setup whether I have a tall job or a flat job. Also, 
I'll be able to route, mount the router either low or high, which gives me options as far as um, cutting deeper stuff or limiting the amount of travel the Z-axis does. So it just gives me more options. Running at uh, 120 inches a minute. Looks like everything's running smooth. Only thing I noticed with the more solid frame, the steppers seem to have their noise amplified by the more rigid frame, but nothing horrible. Also, I still need to tune the motors on the G540. Uh, I need to get a non-conductive screw to turn the trim pot, which I don't have, but hopefully soon. Also, the gantry uprights, I'm going to put a connecting plate to connect the top two. Uh, the top two pieces that would help add in, in the rigidity of the machine give me a place to put my cable chain which I shall be installing soon also I still need to install limit switches and home switches stuff like that but at least the main part of the machine is done There you have it.